Mine and I two on a blood clad jaws and I'm a fierce. Boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know how the thing set. We're blessed. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But you know my style, one bag a bag. I know when I gotta continue giving them daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch the end so you don't miss a thing. And with that being said, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it really look like St. Dexter Dubs. It's the king of the dance. Uh, you see me, I say, because as you can see, over 3,000 females is just there to see him perform. You know what I mean? But as you heard him at the beginning, him a bad man, and him not take certain disrespect. <laughs> People put that in the comment section, what do you think about them? You see me, I say, Dexter Daps out here getting women's drawers, and Drake out here getting women's bras. It's definitely a good look. For these guys, you see me, I say, I'm just giving them a quick update while I'm going for that to go on. Proceed, so let's next. proceed. Now, since we mentioned the King of the Dance Hall in the beginning of the review, we might as well talk about the current King of Dance Hall because his lawyer just pled guilty for professional misconduct. You see me, I say, you know, he apologized to the DPP. But there you are when him did the pan Andre Stevens show, you know, in, you know, basically quoted vibes, curtail, a style up. You know what I mean, Paula? It's a mess, uh, but you know the politicians take it to heart. They see it. And now, well, in agreement, a sanction hearing to determine his punishment, yes, was also concluded on Saturday and was adjourned to allow the three-member panel time to consider his decision. Speaking with the Glickleaner, the attorney said his punishment is entirely in the hands of the GLC. Mr. Buchanan says it's a teachable moment. His distasteful for comments towards Ms. Lewin um, were linked to the latest controversy involving her office and then proposed extension of the retirement age of the office holder. Now, a lot of people would like to put the blame upon Andre Stevens um, for causing, you know, one, for him, you know, being this position that he's in, the situation that he's in now. But people have to remember. Um, you know, there's no freedom of speech in Jamaica, as you can see. But they must remember what they represent. You see me, I say, when you go on an interview, you know what I mean? You're really treading a fine line, you know what I mean? And the things you use, I say, can be used against you. But I'm just like, giving that update while going for another one. Um, you know, he pled guilty and, you know, speaking about cartel. Yeah, RT Boss um, is making another prophecy. As you can see, he made a post three hours ago saying, Good news, get your hopes up 2024, 2025. Get your hopes up. Um, there is still disappointment, energy, but faith is working with the energy of good. I would tell you the outcome, looking at them for a retrial. And you know, Cartel Appeal case is coming up in like two months in February, and Cartel did say, you know, um, he feels good that he's going to be free because it's out of corruption and in the people's hands of reasoning. You know what I mean? But let's not giving that quick update while I go on for that to go on. Don't forget to put in the comment section what you think about all of this. Once in my cell, let's proceed to the next. And now, being a man that I live earlier today, seemingly um, upset with bloggers not promoting his songs. You feel me? Um, you know the talk, people say bloggers only promote mix-up and not, you know, <laughs> they haven't said songs, you feel me? So let's hear what he has to say and then I'll give you my take on it. Get them to stop fight the music dread. Stop. That there's nothing you can do to stop the music. And stop the music where it's going and stop the music where it's coming from. It's not for you to do it, Dread. You see me? All right. Judge it. Everything being a man do, the blogger them have something to say. Everything wrong, them have something to say. Everything bad, them have something to say. Everything where somebody else say, 
them have something to say. But now me have a nice album. Them have nothing to say. <laughs> Bad man is active, Jed. And only even stop it, Jed. You get me? Because regardless who you are, and I care what you is, and I care what you do. Somebody go find you, Jed. When I talk to black guys, me I talk to everybody. I feel like they want to discriminate or disrespect any artist. This is not a good thing, Jed. You see, because artists will always be here until they do a spot. The music is a marriage. And this is why it is. You get to me, I say. So if people want to say what they want to say, say what you want to say. So all of a sudden now, the album nice. The black of them now have nothing to say. <laughs> so, the album did mash up. As someone who said the album bad, but just thank you. Black guys, I thank you. Okay, this is my take. Um, and I only can speak for myself. You know what I mean? Um, me now, I do nothing for free. <laughs> you see me, I say. Um, if the artists them want their songs to um, be promoted out there, then they should hit up the necessary, you know, music outlets like On Stage TV and Entertainment Report, etc., etc. But they can't be looking towards, um, you know, you know, mix up vloggers, you know, to be promoting their stuff for free. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. You feel I'm saying a vlogger is first of all I'm not obligated to nobody, but you know what I mean. I just saw a girl and I put another comment section. We're in a feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's proceed to the next. Now, then, so Princess Shensia went live the other day um, to address certain people trying to box her in. This is after her song almost hit 2 million views in five days. And we're talking about Bima featuring Lola. Yeah, Lola, <laughs> whatever her name, Brooke is. This is my seven people. Yeah, they might try box Shang in and she says she no nah, idea with it. This is my say, so let's hear what's going on. Yeah, strictly only core dance or strictly reggae. Because I know so many artists in Jamaica that they can rap. Um they can sing like real R and B. And it's just like, uh, why is it that we are we are putting ourselves in a box to be like this is the only thing that we can do i think that jamaicans are little but with talawa you know that's our motto like if we want to take over the world we want to take over the world like and it's so weird because i the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing now because i didn't get a chance to do it when i just started out and so i feel like people has really put a name on me now to be like oh she can only do dance all like no <laughs> like like what and i want to be an advocate for those artists to be like yeah i'm from jamaica but i can do this too i can do this too i have the talent can sing i have the talent can write i have the talent can rap do gospel music, strictly gospel music, if I don't my wando. Like, don't box down Jamaicans. They can act. When I have to, like, go grab people from Woi Woi for fake a Jamaican accent, we actually have real great actors in Jamaica, you know, who is authentic and can speak the language and the patois wanna look for very well. But... I feel like as a culture, you have to be able to support your own in order for us to get all these opportunities because otherwise people are going to just come from other different cultures and just steal it. And that's what I feel like has been happening for quite a long time, bro. We've inspired so many genres. So many genres. Like, <laughs> support... Every artist will come from Jamaica. Once you're a Jamaican, support the Jamaican them. Period. It no matter. Support. When it comes down to Jamaicans going up against everybody else, support in their own. Right? It no matter 
Ah, uh, ooh, one so out in the world. Huh? Especially from immigrants, like immigrants overall, when they come from whether in you know, Mexico or freaking any Caribbean island, it is hard. It is hard. So many people take from Jamaican music and Jamaican culture, like, oh, uh, want to reach on the charts, them. Supporting an artist, support whoever you want to support, as long as them are Jamaican. Ain't no give a fuck matter is who. Like, because overall, I'm not going to let nobody stop me from accomplishing this dream that I've had ever since I was a child. You're not going to let God stop me, you know? <laughs> like nobody not stop me. Like I want to see me at you know, like we are gonna fight hey, me like a dead pan the ill up ya. Me, 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 me and Lola, I feel like we should do a EP project or something together. I just love Lola's voice. I'm in love with her voice. I told her that so many times on set. I was like, girl, <laughs> your voice, the voice. So, which female artist do you want me to collab with next? Are you, are you touring? Uh, not right now. I stopped taking shows for a while. I'm happy you asked that question because I feel like you guys really haven't been seeing me. But I stopped taking shows because I'm planning something crazy. And... I want to, you know, give myself time and come back and rebuild in a whole different mindset and build back in a whole different, like, my physique, um, my stamina, everything on stage. Like, I'm working on my performance. So, I'm not taking much shows right now. Next year. I'm not taking it. I don't think I'm going to take any more shows for the rest of the year. I was focused on... on curating some music i was finishing up um a lot of songs so i told ramish and told everybody that yo let's hold on on the bookings right now like stock ashley yes me and stock has been talking um often about collabing but i don't think we found the right song yet so and as i said i'm not gonna force anything so i think we're both patient like we right now we're in the process of just you know sending stuff back and forth to see okay how does this sound how does this sound until we both agree on something for real yeah i mean now when chance you're ready for go pan tour up there feature artists i got their panic you know what i mean which is a good thing everybody's gonna be making money and nevertheless, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And to be notified whenever I drop the latest. Bless.